how to define if your loyalty program works properly and check your current performance with a industry benchmark and define if it's working correctly or not. Hi, this is Andrew, the founder of Flow Email Marketing Agency, as well as this YouTube channel. In today's video, I would like to walk you through three benchmarks you need to check and define if your loyalty program works correctly. We received a lot of questions after we wrote this article showing the case study for one of our clients, defining the value, defining the retention, how much it costs, having loyalty member versus non-loyalty member, and so forth. I will show you step by step how to do it and define it if it's working for you or not your current system before we continue with the video i have a short announcement to make we are growing and we have a few spots available for new clients and i would like to tell you about our partner program give thousand dollars get thousand dollars how does it work if you know anybody in your network who are e-commerce brand online retailers, please refer them to us. And if they sign up with us, you will get $1,000 and they will get $1,000 discount toward their credit. Or if you are e-commerce brand and you would like to work with us, we will give you $2,000 towards your first months of the retainer. Just visit flowing.com slash partner and see the details of a partner program. And we have a template there, email template, which you can send it to your friend or somebody you know in e-commerce space. So here's a list. So first thing we will do is participation rate. Participation rate is a number of program members, loyalty members divided by your number of total customers. And so let's see what percentage it is for this particular client. Okay, so you log into your Klaviyo account, then you need to go to lists and segments, and now we need to build one segment. So we click on create list and segment, um, number of customers so let's do placed order at least once over all time and yeah so let's do that so we'll get the number actually we'll put it here the number is number of current smile users so you log into your smile io account click on performance click overview and total program members in this case is 26,000 26 and a half thousand so let's do 26,500 okay and let's wait because it will take time especially if you have a big database it might take a while to update so but after we have this number we would be able to calculate okay so we have a number this one Okay, so let me just put it there. Okay, so let's do the math now quickly. Two, two, three, zero, number of total customer users, which is 26,500 divided by 223. I just found it out. So in this case, it's 11%. So what does it tell you? Like based on this information, you know that you're way behind and you need to increase the participation rate. And there's a bunch of things you can do to do that. We posted a few videos on YouTube about email marketing or our loyalty program. Feel free to check it out. You can just type in loyalty and Flowium and you will get a list of all videos that we have. Okay, number two, redemption rate. This is very easy to check. You just go to points and here you will see the redemption rate. In this case, is 83%, which is way, 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 way above the benchmark, 33%. So this is very, very good. If you have lower benchmark, let's say you at 20% redemption rate. So there is something wrong with your offer. Maybe you are asking them too much to do, or maybe something's not clear. So the last thing is to do is for us to evaluate value of your customer. Like I did it here, members, non-members, and what is the value? I'll show you what kind of segments to build and how to pull the data so you can build this kind of table. Okay, so I built the table just to simplify your life. Non-loyalty member, loyalty members, and 
all those stats we need to get. It's very important for you to define the timeline. Let's say you start using loyalty program back in 2020 in June. So theoretically you either, you want the full month. So start calculating from July 1st, for example, until now is June 4th, until June 4th first this year so you have a like full few months of data so let's go to Clavio and let's uh, create few segments so first segment we want to do is 1x buyer let's do January non loyalty members okay so let's do placed at least so we place it at least once between no, between dates and let's do since starting this year 03 sorry 01 01 2021 and let's do here just January June sorry June 1st and correct yes and second segment we want to build is and the second segment we want to build non loyalty members oh I forgot to add something uh, loyalty members. Loyalty members is placed order at least once between dates. So 01, 01, 2021, and here would just appear. And property loyalty member. So this one member, uh, smile state equals member. So this is member and here we need to add one more thing is and property smile state equals doesn't equal member because we want to exclude all members correct correct okay so we have the first data which is loyalty members which is loyalty member is eight thousand four nine one and wait still waiting for non loyalty members okay so we have another data which is 23000 okay so we have that now we have to figure out this value so that's why Clavi is so beautiful because you can export and average out all those numbers so let's do it first for loyalty members just click manage export segment to csv and we need few data so we need value so total customer lifetime value and we need historic number of orders and we need average days between order and we need churn risk okay cool start export you will download the csv file open it and right now like we will average each column in a second uh, so we did for loyalty member let's do for non-loyalty member while we do it so export csv same thing total customer lifetime value then historic number of orders then average uh, average this uh, between orders and then churn risk prediction start export while we waiting let's open this let's do the customer first so we select the whole column and on the bottom you have a sum average so average is 100 this is loyalty i believe 160 dollars 61 i will round it up then historic number of orders is what 15 16 16 then we do average days 91 well it's a lot 91 and churn rate is average 52 percent so 52 percent okay cool so we did it for loyalty members and let's check actually i'm very curious to see how does non-loyalty members perform okay so i just opened the another list and this is something interesting so actually the total customer value is higher for non-loyalty member i mean this is just pure data that's why we need to understand and why is this so total customer lifetime value is higher however historic number of order is two 
So yes, maybe total customer lifetime value is higher, but historic number of orders is like eight times smaller, which is crazy. Okay, churn prediction is 65%. So it, they less likely to buy again from you by what, by 14%, correct? Yeah, by 13%. And this one is 200, yeah, so, and they, four. So basically, <laughs> I mean, it's a lot. Yeah, so this is how to calculate this data. And per article, we when we posted this article, uh, Smile.io reached out to us and said like, hey, could you please also add the stats? So on average, if people are fully leveraging their loyalty program, implementing everything, uh, like adding the explanation pages, adding a loyalty program to email marketing and so forth, Repurchase rate is two and a half times higher. Purchase frequency is 32% higher. Yeah, so he's correct here. Average order value is time higher. We did not include average order value here, but you can do just uh, when you export from Clive, just make sure to check the average order value. In case you have any additional questions, please leave them under this video. And also please check other video about email marketing, about around loyalty program, because it will help you improve your stats, your general stats, improve engagement, improve your revenue and participation in your loyalty program. Thank you.